I'm Wendy Lewis. I'm the CEO of the El Camino Homeless Organization. Hey, Wendy. Thanks for joining me today. I'm really pleased that you're here. We're going to talk a little bit today about Wendy's experience with navigating challenging dialogues. She took part in the leadership certification workshop and has been using these skills with her team and the people that she works with. Wendy, tell me a little bit about how you heard about Navigating Challenging Dialogue and how you got involved with it. Well, hey Beth, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's such a pleasure to be chatting with you. I originally learned about it when I actually took the original workshop, Navigating Challenging Dialogue. Um, part of my previous um, career, um, I always seek new leadership skills, and that opportunity came up. It was a one-day session in San Luis Obispo, and we were able to bring some of our team at that time to that as well, and the tools we learned there were so instrumental in how we had conversations going forward. When I saw the opportunity for the three-day um, certification, I, I knew it was just something that I wanted to add to my leadership toolbox and bring to the my new team here at Echo Home and Shelter. That's great. Thanks, Wendy. So, Wendy, tell me a little bit about what you learned in the workshop and how you've been able to apply it in your leadership role to support the people you work with. Well, our team here at Echo was um, coming off of um, some transitional um, period in our organizational structure, and they really needed a new foundation for going forward and creating a way to have healthy dialogue, um, problem solving, and uh, commit as a team that we want to prevent large problems and through communication when small issues come up, if we tackle those questions and have healthy dialogue, we're going to be able to do a lot more. Um, we are in a service that um, uses so much of our energy. It's um, homeless servicemess. It's a really tough, um, wonderfully tough um, community that we work with. And so by using it as a tool in our team trainings that we have weekly, hopefully that energy that might have been used for those stories in our mind and those things we think about before we have just a conversation, that it saves that energy for the work we need to do. Thanks, Wendy. Hey, I have a question for you just around sort of the scope of the work that you do and the size of um, the, the, the breadth of the services you offer. How many people does ECHO serve in a year? So ECHO is a transitional shelter. Um, our mission is to empower people in Slow County by making positive change by providing food, shelter, and supportive services. We house 50 men, women, and children each night and feed upwards of 100 people every evening. And so that scope, we're touching thousands of people each year. And it is such an amazing program because people who come to us, um, we have a very structured program through case management and it's working with a population that is, they're doing the work to put the pieces back together to find housing. And so it's a, just a wonderful organization and you see beautiful stories, but then there are challenges that come up, conversations with our volunteers, conversations with our clients. Um, so this tool with that, being able to provide a structure on to have those conversations is just so meaningful. Yeah, thank you, Wendy. One thing I'm thinking about as you're talking is, um, you know, in terms of the resources you have available, money, expertise, and time, particularly in an organization that's mission focused and working with some of the most vulnerable people, there's probably not a lot of extra time for lack of clarity in communication, for drama and chaos. How has the Navigating Challenging Dialogue tools supported you to be able to have less drama and chaos within your team? Well, one really important piece that our team has really enjoyed are the different training techniques using the props um, and different, the cards and different things. And in our last team training, we had a simple exercise where we had some um, set of cards that we received through the workshop. And it was just a visual where I asked our team to pick a card that represented 
something that they wanted the team to look at or a concern or hurdle that that individual was going through. Our agenda is an hour agenda and I had set aside about 10 minutes for this exercise and it ended up being such a valuable conversation that everybody brought a small concern that I know if we wouldn't have dialogued in that setting, in a few months, those would have been big concerns, which would have taken that time and energy we don't have um, to spare. And so just a simple technique that opens up clear, non-chaotic dialogue just was so impactful to um, our team that worked so hard. Oh, Wendy, you know how much I love hearing that. Um, and what Wendy's referring to is everyone who comes to the uh, leadership certification workshop gets a little toolkit with some different cards and props that you can use to facilitate dialogue and get people to be more comfortable talking about those little challenges, those little unspoken things that could blow up. So Wendy, when you think about this workshop, um, both you've, you've had the benefit of both going through the skills training and then um, getting a refresher on the skills training and learning how to facilitate coach and mentor people in the skills you learned. What would you say to somebody who's thinking about it on the fence or wondering, how is this going to help my organization? You know, it, that question is a really great question, Beth, because even I, when I thought of taking three days away from a very stretched schedule, I questioned whether I had the time to spare. And I am so grateful that I said I need to commit to this because it is such a valuable tool. I would highly recommend it. It comes up um, almost hourly in my home life, in my work life, <laughs> and I've been able to, just in the, the month or so since taking the training, I just have been really able to utilize the tool and not only helped me grow as a leader, but helped people that I, I really truly care about. Um, conversations that um, I know people would really have struggled with. Um, I've been able to use those coaching techniques, using the tools that we receive, walk them through conversations and either giving them the tools they need to have that conversation or them discovering that they don't even need to have the conversation because that's what they figured out through using the worksheets. And so I would highly recommend it to anybody who really wants to look at um, a new way to look at communication and getting rid of all that baggage that you might have held for years where your mind goes into those stories and you know you worry so much it's relieved a ton of that worry and really helped me um, feel like I'm empowered now to help myself and others. That's great. I, I really appreciate you talking about that. And one more, one more thing that I want to ask you. There are some additional resources that you've been able to access. One is the online resource room for downloading the materials you need, refreshers on the training, as well as the monthly masterminds where everybody who's gone through the certification workshop can come together and get some additional training, some spot coaching, bring problems to light. And you've been a really active part of that. What's, what have, what's been the benefit for you with that? You know, I think the resource, the access to resource in a very um, easy manner is super helpful. And also that group, you, after the training, um, you become like a small unit or a small family. Um, so you get really connected to those that are taking the training with you. And I feel like as a team during the mastermind, we all are each other's resource. And as we grow and continue to add um, more tools and we continue to work on this work, you have kind of partners that you're able to reach out to and just really start looking deeper into how we can do this even better. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've really seen evidence of that. And uh, this past week, I was working on strategic planning with one of the partners who was in the, in the training with you. And they were talking about this great pro bono service that they offer that you might be... Uh, putting your name in the hat to take advantage of for, for ECHO and to help move your organization forward. And I just get so excited by these types of connections that grow out of this and the resources for everybody, even though the
the people who come to the training are from very divergent industries, um, organizations. There, it's just that that net that gets created makes me so excited. Um, anything you'd like to add uh, about the training, about your experience, um, and anything you want to add to the conversation? Yeah, I think that connect is a really good way to say the power of this. Uh, you not only connect with the people in your training, it gives you a better ability to connect to your team, to your loved ones, to people you work with on a daily basis. It really is a connecting force, and it will just run through your daily activities in such a positive way. I feel so much more ready to, you know, face some critical issues or some critical decisions because of these tools. Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. It's been a pleasure as always talking to you. And for folks that um, don't know about Echo, I encourage you to go to their website and check them out. They, the work they're doing in their community is just unbelievable. This group was started by a core group of people in the city of Atascadero, California, who saw a need for a vulnerable population that was not being fulfilled. And under Wendy's leadership, this organization is just blossoming and the work they're doing is fabulous. So. I'm really proud and honored that you are part of the Navigating Challenging Dialogue community, and you're one of the leaders that's bringing this work forward and improving workplaces and personal lives for the people that are doing the hard and meaningful work in our world. So thanks, Wendy, and everybody go to Echo online, check them out, see what they're doing. So thanks. Thank you, Beth. Grateful for you.